Hi family, this is Lovey. I come to give you a go. Today is moving day. The boys are outside throwing the football. My neighbors have across the street. I'm about to show you our home, which is 95% complete. The outside has not been painted, which will be a gray. So the brown color is the color of the siding. This is our fixer upper. I'll try to insert pictures of the house before we purchased it. We do have a two car garage, but it's the long way with the full basement. But I will not be showing you parts of the basement because the basement is unfinished. That's my husband's project. We have a few stairs to go up. I'm sorry if this video is so shaky. I'm trying not to make anybody sick. So this has been a long process. We have two entries. This is the main entry. This is the entry to the kitchen here. I'll go around the outside before I go on the inside. Um, we purchased this fixer upper for $35,000. And then we had it totally rehabbed to our liking because this is a 1945 home backyard is a total wreck this is how the house was well it's better than it was when we purchased purchased it because the house was grown up but this is the back they just poured the new slab for the patio they still have the air condenser up on stilts patio comes all the way across very big patio. We signed our concrete. Yay! Yes. 12 or 17. So this is the back of the house. Which the house still has to be painted. I'll get close up and I'll show you. That you can still see. See? You can still see the mudding in the siding. But we live here in Kansas. And it's cold, so it will not be mudded and ready. Probably till spring. There's He's our dicks downstairs. Yes, darling. House? It's ready. <laughs> Alright, can I show you that one first? Alright, husband is working. This is the entry to the kitchen. Which is... This is not... Technically a empty house, but halfway empty house. Up the front steps. All right, up the front steps into the house. Yes, our shoes are gonna leave massive footprints on the floors. These are the original hardwood floors from 1945. We just had re sanded, restained. Stain. This is the living room. I'll turn around and show you the entryway. This is the entryway, which also has a coat closet there. A lot of natural light. The living room is really, really, really big. Husband's looking down the hallway. First, I'll go in and show you the bathroom because we've already started bringing stuff in. Um, wrong light. That has the fan on it. This is the bathtub and shower. Um, we picked out all the tile and finishes. But the tub is the original tub from 1945, which is very, very deep. This is our vanity. The mirror that goes here is actually in the kitchen. My husband will hang that up today. The original cabinets from the house is here. We're starting to put stuff away. Toilet there. Pretty nice size bathroom. And the only bathroom in the house for a little while because my Superman right here is going to install one in the basement. Yep. Because it's like a shower already down there and the water's there. Just have to insert a tub and put a sink in. No big, um, insert a toilet and put a sink in. It's just going to be a stand-up shower. This is our bath bedroom. This is the master. Pretty deep closet. 
pretty closets. This is the master, which has a full window. On that whole wall is full of windows. All right, let me stand back. Maybe you can see how big this space. Okay, sorry about that again. Texas keeps stopping my phone from recording. This is the master bedroom. We have several linen closets in this house. Closet, plenty of storage. Plenty of storage and another linen closet here. Plenty of storage. This is Jay's room. Hit the light. This is my middle son's room. Very big room, very big room. Okay, this is a very deep closet. My space is limited, so I have to go in and delete some stuff. Sorry. All right, let's go to the third bedroom. This is the third bedroom, which is a very small bedroom, but it's big enough for AJ right now. And he also has a really nice size closet. It's very deep. We have not hung up any of the closet systems. We're going to do that today or tomorrow as we continue to move things in. So let's go take a sneak peek into the kitchen where half of our furniture is being stored because our floors are just got, just getting, getting dry. I'll give you a sneak peek at what? Basement. This goes down to the grungy, dirty.